What is going on you guys? It is me, Blue Applehead here with another video for you guys. And I know it's been a while, it's been like two or three weeks since my last upload, but I am back nonetheless. And what better way to come back than to do a custom jeans video? But I'm not gonna be just doing a paint on jeans. Well, actually I am gonna be painting on them, but I thought I'd do something else and take it up a notch and actually dye the pants. Now I've done tie dye on a hoodie before that came out pretty fine, but this, is actually different and you know I have an idea of how to do it but I'm not really all too sure of how to do it so I'm gonna be doing it for the first time with you guys and like always I do it for the first time with you guys so you guys can learn from my mistakes and just overall experience what it's like to do it for the first time and just so you guys can have a better result better outcome of doing it if you guys are doing it for yourself so of course I'm gonna be taking you step by step for the most part step by step of how to uh dye the jeans it's not really too hard it's just you want to make sure that you do some stuff correctly so you don't actually like mess up the fabric of the pants but i'm gonna show you guys how to do that so of course before we get into the video make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the post notification share to your friends family all of that and let's just get straight into the video now of course you will need a bucket now this is the only bucket, well, this is not the only bucket. I had another bucket, a much deeper one than this, but I honestly don't know where it is right now. So I'm going to be using this one. This one should work pretty fine. You know, it's all right. So bucket, you will need bleach. Now the bleach is actually gonna be to take off the pigment of the jeans so that, you know, the color can actually stick on and be a little more vibrant and just look a lot better. So you're definitely going to need bleach for this. You will also need your pants, of course. This is just a regular Paxson denim distress pants. Um, I wanted to use a regular pants, but this one I wanna really see in the color that I will be choosing, which is of course the most important thing that you will need, the dye. Now this is the RIT dye. And I got this on Amazon and I believe it was only like four or five dollars. So pretty inexpensive. I've got two of them. I actually got a purple one and a red one. But for this video, I will be using the red one because I want to see how um, the red turns out. So I will be using red. I will use the purple one for probably another um, for another video. Probably not. But. For this one, we're going to be using red now. That's pretty much all you would need for this uh, custom or for this process. And so let's go to the bathroom, show you guys how to actually, you know, what to actually do in terms of setting up everything and just having your jeans ready to be dyed. So let's go to the bathroom. Come on, let's go. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see me. This lighting is pretty bad, but the whole point is just to show you guys what to actually do to put the um, jeans to actually bleach them. So of course you're going to fill this up with warm water, make sure it's warm. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Fill it up with warm water about like halfway and then you wanna put half of the bleach, like I said, you don't want to put too much of the bleach because it will actually like destroy the fabric of your pants and everything and it will mess up you know the whole dye process so just use a like you not don't use too much just use a good amount but yeah Okay. 
also forgot to mention, I have a different outfit because when you're working with bleach and stuff, you actually don't want to wear like your good clothes because if a little bit gets on it, it will like actually change um, the coloring of your clothes. So I went ahead and just threw on something regular, threw on something that I didn't really care about messing up. So it just filled the bucket halfway with water and of course the bleach part now. When you're working with bleach, do not do this inside a like confined space like a bathroom or anything. Make sure you're doing this outside. I'm only doing this here so I can show you guys, but I'm not gonna leave it here because you will kill yourself by just inhaling this stuff all day. So, so we're just gonna pour a good amount, probably like close to halfway, but not really. Oh God, yeah, that smells, whoo, that's wrong. Okay, so we're just gonna pour a little bit like halfway um, like I said, and then we're just gonna dump the jeans in there. Final part, put the jeans. Now when you put in the jeans, make sure that every part of the jean is fully submerged underwater. Every, you know, part of the jean is, you know, covered so that you don't really have blotches and patches uh, that are uneven. So make sure that you do it evenly and just dump it in slowly. Oh God, yeah, that really started to smell. Okay, so I did all of it. You see, you just wanna make sure that everything is fully submerged and all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more water and a little bit more uh, bleach because you can see that it's not really all the way submerged. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then after that, you just wanna leave it outside for like 24 hours and then come back to it. So of course, I'm gonna leave it outside. For you, it's gonna be seconds, but for me, it's gonna be 24 hours. So I'll see you in the next part. Okay, so it is a new day and the pants are literally still outside. I haven't checked on it. Well, actually I did check on it periodically throughout the day yesterday because you know I had a small container and I just wanted to make sure that the pants was fully submerged under the water but yeah we're gonna go check on it I do have this new bucket that I found hopefully this should do the do a better job of keeping the pants fully submerged honestly because I had a bigger bucket I just don't know where it went That's for another time, but this one should do the job pretty well, better than the other one. So I'm gonna go take you guys downstairs so we can go look at the pants and see what they turn out to look like. So let's go. Hold up, hold up. Before we go, I forgot to tell you guys. For this one, this is actually gonna be the bucket where we put the red dye. So basically all you need to do is literally fill this up halfway with water with warm water or, yeah, warm water. Um, and then put this, you can, I would use the whole amount, honestly, to make the pants really, um, the color, like a dark color of this, because if you use a light amount, it's just not gonna turn out right. It's look, gonna look like a washed out um, red. So I'm gonna use the whole thing of this and fill this up, not halfway, but, mm, yeah, halfway. I'm just gonna say halfway, but honestly, I'm gonna wing it. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna tell you guys to do it halfway and then put the full amount of this, just dump it in, mix it, and then we're just gonna put the pants in because I don't wanna go downstairs and then come back up and then record it. So I might as well just tell you guys now so I don't have to show you, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Just fill this up with hot or warm water and then just pour all of this in, put the pants in, and then leave it, over, leave it overnight. So another 24 hours. So I'm gonna go show you guys what the pants look like right now. So this is what the pants look like. See that the bucket is small so I have to use sticks to hold it down. But yeah, this is what it should look like. It should just be like a light, creamish, whitish color. I left it here overnight and all we're gonna do is literally just dump it straight into straight into this.
24 hours later. So, I finally finished it. I put it in the dryer and everything, and this is what it looks like. And honestly, it looks really, really cool. It looks really dope. It does have like a little bit of blotch spotches. I mean spotches. What am I saying? Blotch spots, as you can see. I don't know if you can see too well, but it's like some parts are lighter than others and whatnot. But honestly, I like how it turned out. I think it gives it a little bit more character. So I really do like how this turned out. In terms of um, dyeing the pants, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you have to do. Just follow what I did. Like I said, I had a kind of an idea of how to do it, but you can see that it turned out pretty, pretty um, neat. So hopefully you guys do, um, you guys follow along with the steps and then make your own dye pants. But that is not the end of the video. I am gonna be doing a little bit of custom. Like I said, I am gonna paint on this, not do anything crazy really, but just put a little bit of some designs on it to make it look a little bit cooler and just making it make it a little more personal to me. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's just get straight into that. I finally finished the pants. As you can see, I just drew hearts at the bottom. Hold on. Hearts at the bottom, that's it. Like I said, I'm not really gonna go too crazy with the painting. I just wanted to add something a little bit unique to this pants and just make it a little more personal or make it more, yeah, personal to, to me. But this is what I've came up with so far. And honestly, like I said, the color came out fire. I do like how there's like some light um, spots on the pants. I think it gives it more of a more character, but honestly, this is a really, hold on, let me spit out this gum. Okay, but yeah, honestly, really dope, really easy to, really simple. If you guys are gonna do this, just follow the things that I told you to do in this um, video and you will see results like this. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you made it to the end. Hopefully, you guys did learn something new in this. And if you want to make something like this, go ahead and go try it. Because like I said, it's pretty simple. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which is coming out next week. So until I see you guys, peace.